Hi, this is Carl with the Blue Wing Bamboo Rod Shop update for April 19th, 2021. Uh, last week I told you about a few rods I had in process. I want to update you on those, tell you about a rod that I uh, have planned to start, and uh, talk about that thing a little bit. So first of all, rods from last week, uh, the three-piece uh, seven foot nine. Uh, I did get that blank all straightened out, so next step for that is going to be adding furls. So not sure if I'm going to get to that this week or not, but I'm, I'm hopeful I will. So that's right here, all straight, ready to go. Uh, next one is the Payne 98 variant uh, from Ted Knott, and uh, that's the rod for my wife. Um, and I didn't make any progress on that one, uh, but it is ready to go in terms of glue up and I didn't show it last week, so it is right here. That is a, uh, a seven foot four weight. It's a two piece rod uh, with two matched tips. So pretty excited about that, of course. All right. And then the one I spent the most work on uh, this past week is going to be the Garrison 201E, another seven foot four weight rod. Uh, I've never made a Garrison before and I had some extra bamboo from the Payne 98. Uh, so this is from the same calm as the one I'm building for my wife. Um, and I needed to redo the butt section. Uh, I, did, I didn't have it glued up, but uh, as I was approaching final dimensions on the strips, a couple of them were giving me enough trouble that I decided to kind of put the brakes on start from rough strips again, and it, which I had rough strips last week. Um, and when I say rough, they were still like nodal dams, all that. So I went from that to, we are five thousandths away from final dimension here um, on each strip. And so actually after this video, I'm gonna go set my forms to the final, final dimensions and uh, go finish this butt section. Um, this is a one tip rod. Um, and yeah, so that will be ready for glue up by this evening. And um, I'll probably glue that, glue that one first because uh, that, one's, that one's just so I can see. Uh, I, cast, I cast it one of these rods a long time ago, but I've never made a garrison taper. So this is just to kind of have around and as a, an example of one of the more popular garrisons. Um, but the more important rod is the one for my wife. So that one gets glued second because I need to make sure this guy's working really well. Um, I did use it uh, when I heat treated the butt section um, and it worked just fine. Uh, I have to add a crank to it because right now I'm kind of cranking like this and that's not totally smooth. So not completely happy with that. Uh, but otherwise it works really well. The other thing I need to do is figure out how to add an outfeed table to this. Um, so I might talk about this more detail in a future video, but it is a Tom Smithwick design uh, that's kind of derived from uh, the Garrison binder, but obviously simplified quite a bit and works really well. And finally, uh, rod I have planned next because uh, once I have those glued up and furled, uh, those are all going to be ready for kind of the finishing stages. So I'm kind of planning ahead here. I'm going to make a seven, uh, I'm sorry, an eight foot seven weight uh, that uh, can be used for steelhead as well as some of the saltwater fishing where I am now. I grew up in Erie, Pennsylvania and some good steelhead fishing there. So when I go home and visit family, like to have a good rod for that with me. And my old seven weight was stolen years, uh, years ago, so I need to replace that. Um, and the other thing is now I live in St. Petersburg, Florida, so it'd be really nice to have a rod like that for uh, casting in the salt water, walking the beaches, casting at snook, things like that. So the 8015 is what I'm gonna build, Dickerson 8015, and I'm gonna use the taper that's in the Lovely Reed by Jack Howell. And uh, yeah, uh, specifically I'm gonna build the 8015 Guide Special. Here's what he has to say about it. These are probably the most famous Dickersons. They're very stiff and very, very powerful. Made for shooting long casts behind sweepers from a canoe, they can pick up a long line and a heavy fly from the water and pop it back out, out there with ease. Everybody talks about the 8015 Guide Special's power and it would make a fine steel head rod. 
So I've cast one of these as well, and uh, yeah, this this will be this will be a really good saltwater rod, I think too. So, so that's what I have planned. Uh, those are the updates for this week. Hopefully, I'll have more updates next week. I'm going to plan to do this every Monday. Uh, the only other thing I have is that I did start an Instagram uh, this past week. Blue, it's at Blue Wing Bamboo. Uh, so check check that out. I post uh, kind of in process photos and short videos and things like that there. So see you around the next bend. Bend. bend? See you around the next bend. <laughs> and until then, tight glue lines.